Well, hey everybody, the wind's blowing pretty hard back out here on the back deck, but I'm going to try to see if I can talk. I know I'm right up in your damn face, but i got to keep... It, it's swirling, so this may not work at all. This could be a wash. And i got something interesting I wanted to say. I don't watch local news, period. I don't have my television is not hooked up to anything. I unplugged that son of a gun from the wall when uh, they started doing that C word thing. It was probably about this time, almost March of, of that first year, 2020. And I just reached over and grabbed that plug from TV plug from the wall. And I snatched that sun bun out, and I ain't plugged that sun bun back up since. And ain't ever gonna watch television. Never. Didn't watch the Super Bowl, don't give a damn. I can tell you this though today is <laughs> February the 27th. And the 28th is tomorrow, and the 29th is the last day of the month. And we're in a leap year. I don't understand it, don't give a damn about it. I'm not going to go around jumping up and down and telling everybody it's a leap year. But what I am going to tell you about is a board meeting that they had at the camp, camp at the, at the, uh, right across from the Sonic, right that building, right there. They moved to that building because it was pretty much anticipating a uh, massive crowd of people. I wish I'd have known about this incident a long time ago. I could have started posting stuff, but I, in a comment that Lynn Morris, the county commissioner, sent me, you can go to his Facebook or you can go to my, my Facebook and you can see all the information I found within five minutes, ten minutes. I put it all together. And I'm going to tell you something. We don't need no uh, lithium storage battery systems here anywhere in this area. It's a bit of an unusual fire today in Valley Valley Center. Around 5 o'clock, one of the units at a battery storage facility caught fire. It's on Valley Center Road and operated by TerraGen Energy Storage System. The company says its facility has enough power for thousands of homes. As a precaution, nearby homes and businesses were evacuated for a few hours and some roads had to be closed too. It's still unclear what started the fire. OneVoiceNow.org. I'm going to put the... Where am I at? I'm up with uh, David Frank, a f good friend of mine out of South Bend, Indiana. He's right about that. We got six, seven people making decisions for a whole damn county. And nobody is asking nobody for their damn opinions. And when they do, they send letters to the people that's like within the area that they're going to build the thing. No, it affects everybody in Christian County. It affects when you hide and hold, withhold information from people, that's illegal. So if we can come together as a coalition in Christian County to start a, a chapter for OneVoiceNow.org, then politicians can kiss our foot because we'll know exactly how many people are against it and how many people are for it. And they'll know. And when it comes time to vote their asses out of office and put some of the coalition members in office, we can do that. But we got to have the damn thing up and running before we can do anything. And ain't no politician going to jump on board with this. I sent this information to Josh Holly almost a year ago and ain't, ain't heard back. I've been following up, following up. No, they don't want nothing to do with this type of thing. This system, there'll be a link or, or even a video at the end of this plan that explain it. I can't explain everything. All I know is it'll work on a telephone computer system. You, you get registered, you get um, ID card, ID number thing, and then when you say, you call in, you, you listen to the, like for this thing out here, they're building and um, it'll have what they're doing, and then a little more information than that, and a little more than that, and a little more than that, and you listen, and then you, you, you go, okay, I want to vote on this. So you, you push a button, and then it recognizes you by you putting your ID in, and you either hit one for no, or two for yes. It's that damn simple. We should have had this 20 years ago. But no, the people that own this county don't want you to know that. And the people that own Springfield, 
that whole county, the, uh, every county around us is owned and operated for profit by elite group of family members. Yeah, they can run me out of Ozark, Missouri. I don't give a damn. I'm just going to blow the whistle on the whole damn thing So, because everything about the economy is fixing to crash. Have you heard yet that the dollar has no value? Damn, I used to say a dollar was worth a quarter. Now it's worth a nickel and two pennies. Do you understand what I'm saying? My damn cookies are a dollar seventy-two at McDonald's. I remember this time last year they was ninety-nine cents. There's no such thing as a ninety-nine cent menu nowhere. Hell, a damn Snicker bar in some places is two dollars. The little bitty son of a bitches that they shrunk them down to. You take one bite, you take another bite, and you take another bite, and then you nibble. You nibble on it for a while, and it's over. I remember when a damn Snicker bar would feed two people. Damn. We got to get back in communicating with each other about this kind of thing. I bet all the people that go to church at James River, they don't even have a clue about how to talk about these kind of matters. They trying to be so sophisticated and actually like don't step on nobody's toes. We don't want to talk bad about the politicians. Hell, I'm not talking about bad about Lynn Morse. He's a great guy. And that guy that runs the, uh, the road district commissioner that we didn't pick back up. Shoot. He's a great guy. He's got a sinking bridge, though, and I'm going to keep talking about it until it gets to the public. They need to give me my own damn channel on KY3. Give me my own news break segment. I can tell you everything you need to know in 20 minutes. Well, I don't know if they'd give me 20 minutes. <laughs> they'd give me maybe four. Yeah, let's come up with a name for KY3 Buddy on the Call. <laughs> buddy on the Call, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play that video from David Frank. Y'all watch it. OneVoiceNow.org. All joking aside. We need a, co a, a consortium of, of people that live in Christian County to come together and let's put this thing together. Let's get get the politicians knowing that we got a coalition of people that want it. And uh, we'll have it before you can say how to do it. All right. Love y'all. Y'all keep coming back to my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know you like my channel. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dave Frank and uh, I'm doing this video because I know that we can take back and fix America. America's a beautiful place, man. Just look at this, look how beautiful this is. This whole country is a gift and it's worth savings and, and we can do it. We have the technology now that nobody in the past has ever had. We have the communication technology so that we the people can start making decisions ourselves on issues that affect our lives. Uh, this is the plan, very simply. This is a short video, but uh, in 1969, uh, public broadcasting started, and it was supposed to be used to actually broadcast the public, but instead, the uh, federal government uh, funded it and uh, started uh, making sure that it wasn't used to broadcast the public and instead they're uh, broadcasting cartoons, antique road show, and 60s music, and, and it's not important. We need to use public broadcasting station, our local public broadcasting station in, in each community as our no, new local issues TV, radio, and internet channel. It will be the channel that you, the people, get busy uh, fixing your education system, your environment, your tax system, your healthcare system, all of the things in your community that you, the people, care about. You'll be able to present your ideas uh, right over the TV, the radio, and the internet. Uh, public broadcasting will turn into our local issues TV, radio, and internet channel. And you'll present your ideas directly to the community, and uh, we'll debate your ideas because we want people to be educated on your idea, and then we'll vote on it, and then we'll implement it. And uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, you're going to be able to vote with any touchtone phone, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to call a local number. Your call will go into to a community database that will have your ID number and PIN number. 
when you see an issue on your TV, uh, radio, or on the internet, the local issues TV, radio, and internet channel, that you want to vote on, you'll just call a local number. It'll go into the database, ask you for your ID number and PIN number, ask you what issue number you'd like to vote on, press one for yes, two for no, count your vote, block you out from voting more than once. It's really that simple. The people in Washington, D.C., those politicians are not going to fix your community. The people in state capitals are not going to fix your community. And the mayor and the city council are not going to fix your community. It's up to we the people. That's why the Constitution says we the people. It means all of us. You know, not 535 in Washington or 150 in state capitals or nine downtown. It means all of us. We now have the communication technology that we need to get busy and start fixing our piece of America. And if everybody does that, America will get fixed. Uh, so that's the plan. I hope you like it. I hope you visit our webpage, uh, onevoicenow.org, O-N-E, voicenow.org forward slash video. Check out the video. Check out the problem and solution page. If you need to get in touch with me, I hope you like this idea. I hope you're ready to start pushing it to your city council and making it happen. The blueprint is right on our web page. So if you need to get in touch with me, my phone number is 574-876-7306, and I'm in Indiana. I hope you like this idea. I love this country, and I believe in the people, and I hope you do too. And when we do this in America, they're going to do this in every country around the world, and we can, it can all start right in your own community. Okay. This is Dave Frank. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Hey, look how beautiful this is, folks. This is worth saving. This is worth saving for our kids and their kids. We can do this, but I can't do it alone. If we all start working together, pushing one simple plan, got a TV, radio, or are you on the Internet? Why don't you just watch issues over the TV, radio, or Internet and vote by phone? Can't make it any more simple. Let's forget about this Democrat, Republican, Independent baloney. They don't represent you. The best person to represent you is you. You have the technology that you need right in your hand to, to empower you and change the world and make it the way you think it should be. Okay, I'm signing off. Thanks for listening. Please share this with as many people as you can. We're just trying to get the idea out there. I don't have the answers. All I have is the tool that you need in each community, in your community, to start firing up all those brain cells. Okay, thanks for listening. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.